frequency and tension relation well uh, the duration of the action potential in a skeletal muscle fiber is about uh, one to two or up to five milliseconds but the twitch itself uh, it lasts about 100 to 150 milliseconds and for this reason the, the muscle fiber can be activated again long before the muscle has relaxed here you can see uh, one stimulation of the one contraction and uh, uh, no more stimulation after this until the muscle reaches to the end of the resting point uh, let's say maximum 200 milliseconds and uh, uh, it causes a certain amount of the tension as you see but uh, in the next contraction the second stimulus uh, given during the relaxation and as you see even if uh, two individual stimulus are the same uh, the contraction produced during the second response is added to the residual contraction from the first one and produce a greater tension in muscle and in this one uh, the second stimulus happen even before uh, the relaxation as you see here and uh, added the force generated by a muscle for a higher tension it should be also mentioned that in some books uh, they said that uh, the third uh, variation that you have here uh, the second uh, uh, stimulus come before the relaxation doesn't cause a such a bigger tension that I can show in this uh, graph so some books show it in the lower or almost the same amount of tension as the second uh, variation anyway we call this phenomenon as uh, we know this phenomenon as a summation we call it summation and uh, if the response rate of the stimuli of the uh, this summations is uh, based on the higher frequency rate. Let's look at another graph here, the tension and rate of the uh, stimulation based on time per second, how many times per second it's uh, stimulated. Uh, the result is an amplified uh, sustained contraction that we call it a tetanization. There are more terminology about it that is not a part of this lecture and uh, but what we have here there is one possibility for the summation and increasing the rate in one fiber and uh, there is another also possible way for the summation in a skeletal muscle which we known as the multiple fiber summation uh, in this uh, product of multiple fiber summation uh, we have the uh, two or more motor units summation with each other. Here, two motor unit A and B, which are controlling different uh, bunches of the muscle fibers, are get involved. And if we record uh, the action potentials in these two units, uh, the tension produced by the both of them will be the uh, varied based on the frequency of the action potential uh, uh, but anyway these two together can have this summation effect and have a greater uh, contraction and also uh, as the unit a con con contracts and unit b add another contraction it can be also the uh, single motor summation plus the uh, the summation as multiple fiber which uh, create an even larger force by the whole muscle.